Hey guys, it's me Phil, and today I'm going to bring you a review of the Zotac Zbox ID92 Plus, a really small form factor PC actually packing some pretty considerable power inside it, so stick around to find out more. As I said, this is the Zotac Zbox ID92 Plus. Now Zotac are marketing this as a high performance media center slash mini PC for anywhere in your home, like the living room, bedroom or kitchen. In the box they include a wide range of useful accessories including a base amount for discreetly hiding it away behind your TV or monitor, a stand in case you want the unit to sit vertically as opposed to horizontally around the mount, DVI to VGA and DVI to HDMI adapters which will come in useful as you'll find out later, and a Wi-Fi antenna as we all know internal antennas are generally quite rubbish. So here's how the unit looks set up in the vertical stand with the antenna attached and switched on. As you can see a nice looking blue LED ring will light up to let you know it's on which is a nice aesthetic, but slightly annoyingly they did go for a glossy plastic finish on this side which would be a total fingerprint magnet if you handle it even for a short while. Maybe that's just me personally but I've preferred a matte finish, that's my only real small gripe with the otherwise flawless design. Taking a look at the rear I.O. on the Z box from left to right we have the antenna port, optical audio, dual gigabit LAN, two USB 3 Super C ports, a DVI-I out, two full-size display ports and the power in. As I said, the DVI to VGA and DVI to HDMI adapters will be very useful as display port still isn't widespread among many consumer products, so you'll likely be wanting to use the adapter to get a HDMI connection. We'd have liked to see the adapters like this for those full-size display ports included, as this is going to add to the cost of office users wanting a multi-monitor setup, but again, just another minor complaint. In terms of front tire, we have two 3.5mm jacks for audio in and out, an SDXC card reader, another USB 3 port, two activity LEDs for Wi-Fi and hard drive, an IR receiver, and the power button. On the top of the device, we have another USB 3 port, bringing this to a nice total of four USB 3 ports, which should be more than enough for most people's needs. We won't show you the bottom, this is just fairly plain with no I.O., just the VESA mounting points. Inside the device, and yes this is relevant, especially if you're thinking of getting the bare bones model, we have the CPU under a fairly sizable heatsink to keep it fairly cool, and a 2.5 inch hard drive and a standard SATA adapter, all held in by one little really easy to remove thumbscrew. The high drive is attached via a plastic toolless clip, making it very easy to swap in and out drives, like this Samsung SSD for example. Under the hard drive slot we have one 4GB SODIM, although there are two DIMMs here so this can be upgraded at a future date if you need some more. Under the SATA connector there is an mSATA adapter which allows you to uh, add a smaller mSATA SSD for programs or cache or a, and a hard drive for storage. And note the mSATA port which houses the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card. On the other side of the heatsink is the PWM header for the fan and in case you missed it the bottom plate is held in by only two easy to attach thumb screws making it extremely easy to upgrade in the future. From our testing, we found that the device was great for general use, including stuff like web browsing and office. Media playback at 1080p is smooth and flawless, and as the box claims, it could even go up to 4K, although we couldn't test this ourselves. Light gaming is perfectly fine, although AAA titles really won't be able to run on this. My main idea for this PC is as a media center or Steam box. We tasted a multitude of games using in-home streaming in particular, and even over Wi-Fi, streaming 1080p was absolutely perfect. The inclusion of two gigabit LAN ports, whilst nice for teaming, seems rather strange for consumer-oriented products since they are both marketing it as a media center style PC, and most people don't have one Ethernet cable near their TV, let alone two. Although the I.O. is pretty comprehensive since four USB 3 ports is more than enough for a media center, and the built-in SD card reader ate this massively. As you can see on CPU Z, the dual core with hyperthreading is running with Turbo Boost effectively to manage power savings, although I would suggest that since the graphics uses 2GB of system RAM, that only leaves two for general usage, so you may want to be considering an upgrade. So here's a summary of my final thoughts on the Zbox. The Zbox is an excellent mini PC with more than enough computing power to fit most people's needs. I only really have two complaints with it. The first being is that they didn't actually include an HDMI port on the computer. Slightly weird as HDMI really is tending to be the standard for monitors and TVs alike at the moment. Admittedly, as we go into the future, DisplayPort will become a standard and until then they have provided a DVI to HDMI adapter, which should solve this problem for most people, but it's just a point that it's still very widely used and the fact you have to go through an adapter is a little bit of an inconvenience, but what the heck, this is just my kind of view on this. The second point, and this is one that's not really exclusive to the Zbox, is the glossy plastic finish. If you're touching it for any length of time, it will be an absolute fingerprint magnet, but they're not alone, a lot of companies are still using the glossy plastic, not realizing that we want matte, because it doesn't have fingerprint magnetism. 
that affects glossy so bad. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this review of the Zotac Z box. If you liked it, leave a like. If you disliked it, leave a dislike. And leave a comment in the section below letting me know what you'd do if you could get your hands on one of these. If you want to see more great content like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button to get updates whenever we post a video. And if you want to buy anything from us, try and use our Amazon links below as it gives us a little kickback which really helps us out. Until next time, I've been Phil. Thanks for watching.